Several U.S. cities have had problems with lead contaminating drinking water, including recent problems in Flint, Michigan. In 2015, tests detected high levels of lead in the homes of people living in Flint, Michigan, a struggling industrial town with a 41% poverty rate. Four water samples taken as part of a whistleblowing Virginia Tech study contained so much lead they were classified as hazardous waste. How did so much lead get into Flint's tap water? In what officials thought would be a money-saving move, the city switched over from using water from Lake Huron to using water from the Flint River in 2014. The river water was more corrosive than Lake Huron's water. The city also stopped treating water with orthophosphate, a chemical that protects lead-lined or leaded pipes from corrosion. Without orthophosphate in the water, the protective layer along the inside of the city's water pipes started to break down, and particles of lead began flaking off and dissolving into residents' tap water. These lead particles are indicated by the blue spheres. About half of Flint's homes and businesses are served by lead water lines, according to a Michigan news site. Even in iron pipes, lead can still cause problems. It can leach out of lead pipes and get absorbed into the rust in iron pipes. If the rust on these pipes starts to break down, lead gets into the water. When the city made this change, it started adding a chemical called ferric chloride because it reduces the amount of disinfection byproducts in water. The ferric chloride is represented by red spheres. But this chemical made the water even more corrosive making it easier for it to damage the city's water lines. Lead levels in Flint drinking water tested above 15 parts per billion, the federal action level. 